JustAZ.com Productions with JustAZ Gardens using the Fairy Morris Soil Test Kit. Hi, we recently added soil to our garden beds and we're going to test the nutrient content of the soil using the Fairy Morris Soil Test Kit. We're going to show you how that's done and the results that we got. The directions for this test kit are on the inside of the packaging, so you have to open it to find out how to use the test kit. Notice how the caps on the vials are different colors, and on the card behind the vials is a color-coded chart. In order to test for pH levels in the various nutrients, you have to use the colored capsules from the vials. Each capsule is the same color as the cap of the vial it's in. Each vial is lined up with a specific column on the color chart. The problem is, once you open the package to read the directions, the vials aren't lined up with the color-coded chart. So either make a note to yourself or keep an unopened package handy so you can remember which colors test for which nutrient. The soil test itself, though, is easy to use. Take a soil sample from the garden bed and place it in a clean jar. You want to sample from about 4 inches down where the plant roots develop. The soil should be slightly damp but not wet. Keep track of the measure of your soil sample. The test kit lets you test for nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and for pH balance as well. We add water to the soil sample, adding five parts water to the one part soil. Cap the jar and shake vigorously for one minute and let the sample stand undisturbed for 10 minutes. The soil settles to the bottom of the jar. Anything lighter than water, like bark mulch, floats. Don't worry about that. I use a baster to draw up a sample of water and place it in the vial. We'll start by testing for potassium. First, we remove the capsule from the vial. The vial is marked with lines and the directions tell me to fill the vial up to the fourth line. Then open the capsule. I open it over a folded sheet of paper to better manage the granules, folding the sheet in half and directing the granules into the tiny vial. Then we cap the vial with the color coordinated cap and shake well to mix. Allow the sample to stand undisturbed for 10 minutes. Having done all that, I use the color chart to assess the potassium levels in the soil in the bed from which I took the sample. Though the color varies slightly in the vial, it appears the potassium levels in the soil are in the medium to high range. I used the remaining vials in the test kit to test for the other nutrients and the pH level of the soil. We saw that the potassium levels are in the medium range. The nitrogen levels are low, and I'll add a general purpose fertilizer to boost the nitrogen. The phosphorus level is high. Phosphorus is necessary for root development, flowering, and fruiting, as well as seed development. And you can read more about nutrient values on the Just AZ Gardens blog. The pH test file needed a little extra shake, but it indicates the pH levels are slightly acidic, which is good for veggies and herbs. For the pH level, you fill only up to the first line. That's why you see a smaller sample in the vial. It's easy to mix up the potassium and nitrogen vials when coordinating them to the color chart. The potassium cap looks pink to me and I thought at first I was testing for nitrogen. But otherwise, the Fairy Morris test kit is a good buy for the backyard gardener. Well, we've gone through the results of the test kit and I'm going to add a general purpose fertilizer to the garden beds based on the results that I got. The Fairy Morris Soil Test Kit is a good product for the price. 
The only thing is, for each bed that we have out here, we'd have to buy a separate test kit. And that can get a little bit expensive. But it's worth it when your plants come out healthy.